After assaulting humans is assaulting someone's property or business, right? You're not supposed to do that either, right? Then you're becoming a vandal mm -hmm. and vandalizing people's stuff, right? And that leads to the next sin, stealing from each other. You're stealing from each other, right? And the rich is getting richer and the poor is getting poor, right? Because someone wants more money than you, right? And is willing to do what it takes to get it. <laughs> Even if it involves stealing it from you and making you work at the Burger King. <laughs> I know. For the rest of your life. <laughs> I know that. I know that. <laughs> That's what they want you to do. The shit jobs they don't want to do. <laughs> That's what it's called, right? <laughs> No, like I'm saying that, I'm not in the little girl, sorry. But if you go to the little girl and her parents and you say, well, we think he's in the little girls. <laughs> but the only place they can come to is my house, sorry. right? I, I don't have nowhere I can bring them. I don't have a secret hideout <laughs> in the woods somewhere. <laughs> no, I don't. No, I don't. <laughs> So, I'm not going to jeopardize my living space, right, to that crap. No, 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 right. Exactly. But, okay, if you go to the little girl's parents, right, and I'm not doing nothing but walking my normal things, right, and then suddenly they move out the neighborhood. <laughs> Why? I'm not doing nothing to the girl. <laughs> no, you're not. But is the girl sneaking down to my house because you're making her curious what you're talking about that I like her in there? See, see, you're telling her he likes little girls and you're a little girl. <laughs> and he likes you, right? <laughs> or something like that, right? He wants to have sex with you. <laughs> no. Well, once you start telling her that, you're planting that idea in her head that I want sex with her even if I deny <laughs> or tell her no, right? I know. <laughs> now, if you make her so curious, she wants to see what, it's, what I'm talking about on YouTube, right? And you show her parents the videos, and you show her too, right? Well, you're introducing her to think about it, right? Not me. Not me. <laughs> you're being nosy, right? You're being overprotective. You're loving them too much. <laughs> Almost to the point of hatred, because I'm not trying to be with it. No, no. They don't even tempt me. I know. But what do I do when I walk around the neighborhood anyway? Walk. <laughs> if I see you, I, I might wave. Like I said, the girl at the end of the block, who's moving now too, right? But I don't know that's not because of COVID. You're right. You're right. But I ain't seen the redhead in a while. <laughs> Down at the other end of the circle. Mm-hmm. And I had a kind of a weird wave at her <laughs> when I was walking by again, right? That spent like the belt earlier on, right? A few months ago, right? But like I said, I'm not trying to do nothing. <laughs> and you don't go to strangers because that's who don't know me or you and pretend I'm doing that when I'm not. <laughs> See, if you're doing that, it's obvious that you'll get caught trying to lure a child into your car or something. Because <laughs> I'm not in a place where I can do that. <laughs> See, that's the sickness in your head that you think I'm like that when I'm not. <laughs> I can't do nothing about that. <laughs> and you're making me think that the girl did something anyway, I know. <laughs> and you just can't get her to talk about it. <laughs> Or admit it happened, right? and I don't know either. I don't know either, because <laughs> you would have to come down to my house and leave too, right? <laughs> and I don't know that happened. I ain't saying she couldn't, <laughs> but again, I ain't saying she did. <laughs> Plus, you would shoot my ass anyway, wouldn't you? Vigilante style. You wouldn't care if I was with her or not. Well, I might as well do something with her then, huh? <laughs> if you don't care. Don't you know what a catch-22 is anyway? 
Right. But I would try to talk her out of it, like it or not. <laughs> if she did. Mm -hmm. But I'm not telling her what I did with her. I'm telling her what I did with the women <laughs> I was with. Not her. Not her. See, I made love to the women I was with over 18. I was never with a child, right? I don't know what they're talking about. <laughs> and if you're on and on about it, and Sheena was 19. Mary Bell was 18. Daphne was my age, 24, maybe a year younger. Right? I don't remember everybody's age, but most, some of, most, most of them were in the Navy even. Right? One was with the USO. <laughs> One I met at Shay's party, but she was kind of a dancer in 23, right? And Molly was 23. I know. The other Molly's on the deck, not Zipper. That's kind of weird. That's kind of weird. Both have a Z-type name. <laughs> and like I said, right? <laughs> One was working in the store, right? And we did it in kind of the break area, I guess, right? But like I said, you act like we're not in the flesh. And that the child can't come down here to me and do something with me. Which is, I'm telling her not to do that. I can't stop you from doing that, right? Right? <laughs> I don't think you're unattractive, but I'm too old for you. They're telling you that, right? <laughs> I'm trying to use the parents and anything I can to talk her out of it. <laughs> but see, that's what infatuation is. And, uh, she's not going to see me how you see me as the parents. She sees what I'm talking about, not what you're talking about. Anyway, you're being overprotective, right? You're acting like she wants to be with me in the first place and I want to be with her with that ain't even the subject matter for us. I'm just walking through the neighborhood <laughs> ignoring her because <laughs> I know she's too young for me. I know. <laughs> if I know she's too young for me, I'm not even going to do anything but be polite to her and say, hi, how are you? And walk on by. I'm walking by. <laughs> Plus, if you're going to hunt... <laughs> You don't hunt in your own neighborhood. <laughs> right? You know what I mean? <laughs> no one does that. Right? <laughs> That's why you got designated areas you could hunt in. Right? Too, too, right? If you're a hunter, you can't hunt wherever you want to hunt. You got to hunt in a hunting club. <laughs> Even. <laughs> So I know not to mess with anyone in my neighborhood. Why? I know. I'm going to be the first one they come to, right? Now, if I'm not knowing what's going on, but the girl's gone, I'm going to wonder, well, what'd you do? Come down here anyway? And they just move it out anyway? I know. Okay. I know. Right? Right. <laughs> I don't know what happened, but okay. <laughs> I understand. <laughs> Maybe she did sneak down to the house and they just decided to move on out, right? Though it's all around the time of COVID anyway. <laughs> so am I. So am I. I'm worried they're acting like I'm going to do something well, when I'm not. <laughs> That's the opposite of what they're telling you I'm trying to do, ain't it? I know. Right? So who's really confusing you there? Me or them? No. What is that called? Sabotage. That's called character assassination. When I've never been with a child, even the girl I'm talking about when we used to live in Pine Or, right, in the little trailer in on, in the land up there, right, who I was kind of alone with in my mom's bedroom one time, I did undress kind of in front of her, but I didn't go all the way with her, right? <laughs> But the thing is, I don't even remember her age or my age or anything specific about when it happened, right? But it happened only one time. <laughs> Whatever's going on there, too, right? And I didn't go all the way with it, right? Again, again. I keep talking about that, too. <laughs> you also got to realize if someone's not into it, whether you think they are or not, <laughs> when to stop the behavior or something. 
and you're trying to be with someone anyway. And uh, <laughs> that's what I'm trying to teach you too. All right. If you're behaving badly but think you're not, because you know me better than I know myself, <laughs> someone has an attitude problem there towards me. And I don't know why. <laughs> but you're not helping me. I know. You're trying to set me up with just entrapment, which that's criminal proceedings against you. So you can't entrap someone into doing something they're not even trying to do, like with the girl at the nail salon. If she told me she was 37, she can't sleep with me in the bathroom anyway, and then act like nothing happened when I lost an hour of time around her. Right? I know something happened, right? And she can lie if she won't sue about it, or whoever's lying about it. <laughs> But they're lying about it because they don't like the outcome, right? I survived whatever they did to me, too, to black me out with her. Mm -hmm. That's what they're mad about. <laughs> and they did it three times. At least, at least. At certain parts of the nail job, too, right? We just went to the bathroom for 15 minutes, came out, argued for a few minutes, did whatever they did, Right? To black me out, and then I went back to the nail job. That's all I remember. <laughs> in between, in between. <laughs> now, I'm not saying anything happened, right? But they're confirming something weird happened when they start charging me with criminal trespassing the third time I go into the store, right? As a repeat customer. That's all I'm being, as a repeat customer. Right. <sighs> now, if something is happening in the restaurant next door down a couple of businesses, I, know. I don't know that, right? I don't know if the girl is, has a boyfriend or not, but I tell her I'm looking for a girlfriend. One who called himself Frederica, or whatever. <laughs> then the other girl called herself Tina. And I would be into either girl. Because <laughs> I told you I like Asians anyway. <laughs> but I told Frederica specifically I'm looking for a girlfriend, right? She and I didn't really talk to her about that, except she brought me, she served me a couple times. And I'm tipping them a little bit, like I always do, right? <laughs> mm hmm About three to four dollars, maybe five, right? But that ain't really your business, but it ain't to have sex with them in the bathroom. <laughs> but guess where it's the only place we can have sex? In the bathroom, in the bathroom. <laughs> Either the women's bathroom or the men's too, by the way. I don't know which. I don't know which. But someone would have to go in there with me. Either one, either one. But I don't recall. I don't recall. <laughs> and <laughs> I do fantasize about both girls, right? Right. <laughs> Might, you know, be thinking of both girls as a fantasy setting, right? But that's not a crime. I know. Most men think of more than one woman, but is waiting for one woman, right? Right. <laughs> that's a fantasy setting, right? But you also know you're to be with only one. Right? And if that's what you're doing, you're doing right. And people are trying to mark you because of the shipmates who are the only ones who could have fucked up my relationship with you and not me. Not you. I don't know. All I'm doing is sending her to Bible studies from Pastor Davis unless there's something in them she didn't like. <laughs> I don't know. But like I said, I don't know what I'm doing to break her, make her break up. I don't know. Oh, well. <clears throat> oh, and I'm also writing her handwritten letters, not type letters, because I was a C student, C plus student in uh, school. Mm -hmm. I wasn't that good at it, right? Plus, I'm a little dyslexic, and I get my I's and O's backwards sometimes, right, when I'm trying to type. Mm -hmm. Now, I might have told them if they were trying to code red me while me and Sheena were after me and she met each other, <laughs> and they decided to write her and break us up <coughs> or something. I know. But I don't recall any conversation with them about that. 
But if I told them I was an A student and they would have to get the yum and to type it up and they told you I typed it up and got the typewriter from the yum and they're lying their ass off. I don't know. Because that wasn't what I was doing. <laughs> they had me on the 12 to 4 watches anyway. I don't know. And I didn't tell them that. <laughs> I didn't tell them I was a good typist but I went and type up the letters to sabotage myself. <laughs> No one's that self-sabotaging whatever they said to cheat in those letters, right? I don't even have a clip, right? But Sheena is a movie, Sheena. Right? If they're quoting parts of the movie, I don't even know that, right? There's a movie called Jane Doe. It's a cowboy movie. I don't know, man. Read the Bible. One is a cattleman or something, right? Sounds like a cowboy to me, my dear, my dear. <laughs> hi ho, hi ho, hi ho. His hoster we go. You figure it out. <laughs>